Hi everyone, this is Robin and welcome back to my channel Stuck on Style 2. So today I've been asked to do a video, um, or I've been asked to do a video um, on my older luxury items and particularly from Louis Vuitton. Uh, it was during my unboxing of my Speedy 25 that um, one of the YouTubers asked me to, um, I, I think I mentioned something that I had, a, my Speedy 30 was like 18, 19 years old and so they asked to see what it looked like if I do a review on it. So that's what I'm going to do today. But before that, um, I wanted to share a little item that I got from um, our favorite place, Louis Vuitton. So, I ordered it and it came in this box, of course, and um, here's our brown envelope that we all love to see. It actually sent me a, a nice little note, thanks for shopping at Louis Vuitton. And of course, here is the receipt. So. So I've been thinking about this item for a while now and watched a lot of YouTube videos. And by the way, thank you guys so much. This is what I love about YouTube is if you're unsure about something, um, you can always go on here and watch a video and see some amazing reviews. And um, it's basically about a back charm. So I've been wanting one really nice gold tone um, back charm to use with my Louis Vuitton bags because I have lots of, the, you know, the silver ones that have like, you know, the clasp. So I've been, you know, like scouring YouTube, looking at videos and look, like I said, looking at um, a lot of you guys reviews on your charms. And I think I was sold when I watched LV Lover CC's video that she did recently on her back charm collection. Now I like her have a ton of those pom poms because I love those. Um, I have all different colors as well. Um, but all of mine are in, I think, silver. Um, and just recently, I purchased some in, with the gold that um, I was able to find, but obviously that was after I'd already made this purchase. But anyway, so when I was watching her video, um, before I couldn't really justify spending that kind of money on a bag charm because it's really expensive and you know that's you could almost get another bag for that. So when I watched hers and I saw how she used it on you know a lot of different ways and and um, different bags, and I thought you know for the price that seemed pretty practical because I do have the other little bag charm that I use on my Speedy Vandalier 25 that you saw which was about the same price um, so here it is in this little box and it's a little mini dust bag of course and here she is here she is. Um, so yeah, this will be my only charm because, like I said, six hundred, five, six hundred dollars. Mm, I just, I mean, I love them. I think they're fantastic, but you know, this is probably as much as I'm gonna go on a back charm. So anyway, it's beautiful, as was described, and I'm so happy I got it. And I'll take this off later. Shh. Sorry, um, my dog, she's talking. Anyway, love this. Um, so I just thought I would show it to you really quickly. So I know that this is not what this video is about, so I'm gonna get on with it. Um, so, my first Louis Vuitton bag actually was this bag, which is called a, the looping bag, I do believe. And I got this probably about 20 years ago. And as you can see, I mean, the, the um, you know, this has kind of started to turn up just a little bit at the ends. But other than that, and the, you know, wear in the handles, as you can see, it's patinaed really well. But, you know, that comes from, you know, like putting it on and off your shoulder and, you know, different, uh, like, possibly color transfer, I don't know, but, you know, 20 years. But look at the canvas. I mean, if you look at it, the canvas is really well, well, well uh, held up really well. You see no cracking and nothing on here. And, um, you know, it's, it's 
it's a great little bag. At the time I wanted a you know smaller bag, I could just kind of throw up my shoulder and you know just carry some minimal things. Here's the inside. Um, you know, no stains or anything. Here's the inside, and you know it's got one flap here. And um, that's it. It's it's still a great little bag after 20 years later. And I have seen these quite a few on like you know Fashion File or whatever or Yogi's Closet where they're selling these. But um, yeah, so 20 years old looping bag, first bag. And then um, what I was requested to show was my Speedy 30, which is about 18, 19 years old. And same thing, as you can see, the main wear is on the handles. Um, I did carry a lot when I got it. Um, but as you can see here, oops, sorry. This tab, it's really, you know, held up well. Look at this one. Um, the tabs are still, you know, really nice honey colored. The canvas part, really nicely patinaed, but no cracks, no, no nothing. Um, this, basically, the canvas part of this looks just like, uh, you know, the ones you would buy today. So, I guess this is why we pay the big bucks for these bags, because they do hold up and they do hold their value. 19 years later, it's still almost a perfect bag, you know, like I said. So, you know, and I pass this down to my daughter, and she could carry this bag probably for another 20 years, perhaps. The inside, I have it stuffed, so as you can see, and here the, the one pocket that we all know it has. I can, yep. Beautiful condition, no stains, no nothing. Um, so, what can I say? Um, again, I, I don't think that there are too many bags out there 20 years later would look exactly, pretty much exactly the way it did when you first got it, except for, like I said, you know, the, um, the handle is really the only place that you can see any wear at all. But, um, again, I think every for every Louis Vuitton collector, you have to have a Speedy in your collection because it is probably the most classic and iconic bag in the Louis Vuitton um, in the Louis Vuitton handbag collection. So, I hope this was helpful, and you guys that may be on the fence about getting a luxury or high-end bag that costs this much, here here is the justification that it truly, truly does hold up after years and years of use. Um, and it is really worth the price because, like I said, there are not too many bags that you could carry for 20 years and it would still look like this. So anyway, I'm so sorry that I forgot the um, YouTuber's name that did the request, but I hope you're watching and I hope you enjoyed um, this video. And if you did, don't forget guys, give me a thumbs up. And uh, thank you again for watching and thank you, thank you so much for all the new subscribers that have come into my channel. And I hope to be back with more videos and I would like to expand to doing some other things like um, home decor, which I, I said on my site. Um, and, you know, in the kitchen stuff because I am an avid cook. Um, anyway, and, and travel stuff. So I will be off again to another work trip soon. And um, I'll be sharing some other videos. So thank you guys and see you next time. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.